What's up y'all, White Hollywood here on the GPX FSE 250E. Ooh, I seen the new 2022s came in today. Shout out to Gary and all them over there at GPX, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that new color scheme on the uh, new bikes, pretty cool. Anyways, uh, I wanna answer some uh, subscriber question, or he's in the group, I think he subscribed to my channel too, his, his name was Lane. He asked me about going through the gears and from, from uh, a stop to top speed um how the bike would run just do some videos and stuff i'll do it while i'm out here today uh i do have my bike geared differently than stock i have it uh 1246 right now which is geared really low for the trails uh so you lose a a lot on the top end which because the 12 going from a 12 or 13 tooth to a 12 tooth it's like a three tooth difference almost three three and a half i think they say or three to four whatever that is uh, so I did lose top end. So she's not great on sh on on street on the road. Uh, at 60 miles an hour, I'm doing seven and a half, eight k, literally. So I try to stay at 50 miles an hour and do the back streets. But I prefer it this way because I like it in the I like it in the trails better. I ride trails. I don't really dual sport around that much on the cruise of street. I'm not trying looking for it to go 80 miles an hour it's a dirt bike anyway well it's a dual sport but this bike is like more like a dirt bike seat is like a dirt bike um it rides like a dirt bike it's lighter like a dirt bike it's not does this bike i've had a couple dual sports now i rode them and this bike don't really feel like a dual sport i'm gonna be honest with y'all it feels more like a dirt bike um and that's why i bought it a first gear uh with the gearing this way will lug up anything second gear is pretty good too at third gear that's where she starts to lose a little power going up hills and she will really chug right there which it's a 250 so come on y'all and some of y'all are wanting this buy this these bikes to do like 90 100 miles an hour they're not made to do that they're dirt bikes y'all if you want a bike to go 90 100 miles an hour go buy a different bike to ride on street that's just my opinion if you're this is a dirt bike it's made to ride in the trails yeah it can ride on the road but its focus is 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 the dirt so if you're looking for a bike for speed and comfort and all that go buy you know a street bike i always say buy a bike for street and buy a bike for dirt you know what I mean? That's just my opinion, because you're never going to find a bike that does both great. All these dual sports, they either lean towards one or the other. I would say like the Hondas, the new 300s, all that. If, if you're looking for more of a street bike, those are street, like more street bikes. They'll do the trails, but they're better for street, but they're heavy um, compared to this bike. Um, so that's just my opinion. But anyways, we're going to get to do some local trail riding here and... Uh, just cruise along through the trails and i'll do a couple vids for you bud i think his name was lane or whatever but when i'm riding out here i'm usually in second or third gear uh when i get in the tight stuff you know yeah first gear um i like the gearing this way also because i can lift the tire up off the ground i know when i need to to get over a log or get up something and it just helps the 1346 gearing did it too but um you had to give a little more beans um and I, I just like the way the 1246 i do have a flywheel key installed on this oh i got a guy behind me i didn't even notice that third gear
new uh, IRC tire on. Shit, that tree's down, I forgot. Stomping trees down. but there's so many damn trees hitting me in their face.
get over that log. All right, we're gonna go hop this log over here. Since they cut it a little bit where you can get over. It's a good sized little log. some good broke trees over here hope I don't pop a tire oh that's a good size one right here it's like an awkward jump if I do that that's a good size one definitely can go up here off camber see if I can get around up here my hard enduro skills coming in on the side of the cliff Now we can get over here. Well, now that's broke down. <laughs> Damn. Boy, second gear just rolls with power now. The 1246. starting and stopping from second gear too if you're wondering I'll have to log and get through some of that now though.
bit faster content. So there you go. That's kind of hard going through those woods fast because all the damn down debris and uh, the trees hitting you. That's the fastest I've rode since my knee has been recovering. I'm not gonna be riding for too long because I gotta load the bikes up. We're going on a ride tomorrow. My friend's coming with me. Uh, I'm bringing the beater bike, my beater bike. If y'all have ever seen my beater bike. So here's second gear from just a little roll and we're gonna get going. Ready? Hold on, we'll start right here, ready? gear. Alright, here goes third gear from a little roll. timing key makes a good difference on this in gearing though if you're trying to ride trails i'll admit that here we go second gear all the way to top gear ready let's roll and start Second gear to sixth gear right there. 